Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to our spring seller check-in. I'm so excited to have everyone here today. I'm, I hope everyone has had a good winter so far. I know it feels like it's a little early to say spring, but it is March and we're getting close. We're looking forward into spring. I'm so excited to see everybody here. I can see people talking in the chat. I'm so glad. Yeah, glasses. I have glasses now. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and think about getting going too. I'm seeing the numbers tick up as everyone joins. And um, oh, I see so many familiar names in the chat. Hi, everyone. Um, I, I see people saying that it's uh, that it's snowing and that they're cold. Hopefully some people are warm, but I think we're ready to go ahead and get started. So this is our first seller check-in of the year, and I wanna thank you all for coming today. Um, if you've attended eBay Open or any of our other events, welcome back. But if you're new here, I'll introduce myself. I'm Rebecca Michaels, and I lead the US Seller Community and Engagement Team. And my team is responsible for connecting with sellers all across our communities and helping sellers like you connecting with each other. We connect sellers in a lot of different ways, as you can see, but you know, the one that I love to call out because we're so proud of having launched it just about six months ago is our newest channel, which is eBay for Sellers on Instagram. If you don't already follow us on Instagram, pull out your phone, use that QR code, but stay with us because we have a lot of great content. Don't, don't go surfing Instagram just yet. You can do that after. You'll find lots of education and inspiration um, as well as lots of other sellers to talk to there. Okay, a little bit of housekeeping to kick things off. There are a few ways to watch today. One is on Ring Central, which is the event platform. So if you came onto the eBay site, logged in, Ring Central, that's where you are. But then we're also really excited to welcome our viewers from YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram today. You know, we really want to be where sellers are and where where you naturally go during your during your screen time. So we are streaming this live on our social channels today. Now, listen, for anyone who's turn, tuning in on those social channels, we on Facebook and Instagram, we have some customer support folks who are helping with comments. But if you really want to get the full experience and be able to engage in the Q&A, which we have staffed with a lot of folks, a lot of eBay experts to answer your questions, please come join us on Ring Central. You'll have to register and log in. It'll take a couple of minutes, but it's going to be worth it. There's a QR code that you can see now on the screen. And um, for anyone who's in Ring Central here with me today, you can use the chat and the QA functions on the right hand side of your screen. eBay teams are on hand to answer your questions, as I said. If you want to comment to your fellow sellers and just have that back and forth conversation, make sure that you are on the stage chat. You look at the tabs at the top, click on stage, and then you should see all of the chat there. If you want to do Q&A, then you just click on Q&A underneath. And of course, if you would like to turn on captioning for this event, you can do so by clicking on that CC button as well. That'll open up a new frame and captions will appear there. And with that, let's hop forward into the agenda that we have for today. I'm going to kick things off with a brief overview of some seller programs you might want to get involved in. And then Adam Ireland will be here to walk us through our latest seller update that we announced a couple of weeks ago. He'll cover off on some of those topics. And then um, Adam's going to introduce our new general manager of the U.S. business, Dawn Block. I'm really excited for you guys to meet her. She'll sh share some product updates before we go into the product lightning round. What's lightning round, you ask? The lightning round um, is where a team will come on, give a quick five minute presentation. And if you have questions about the topic during the presentation, throw them into the Q&A um, where they will be answered. I also have to say that the product updates today are super exciting. And we wanted to share these with you to give you some behind the scenes info here before we share the info wider with the with the, the rest of the seller community. So you're going to get a little bit of a little bit of a sneak peek here, maybe. And then we have an eBay seller, Kendall Van Glider of Style Secondhand is going to join us. And first, she's going to talk about how to ensure your business is running smoothly, even while taking some time off. Coming into spring, summer, everybody needs some time off. This will help you get prepared for that. And then later on in the day, Kendall will be hosting a breakout session on getting your death pile, I mean, your profit pile listed. 
Last but not least, you'll have a chance to win some prizes with a fun guessing game. And in, again, in order to engage with everything, make sure that you come on over to Ring Central. So um, our, for our viewers on YouTube and Facebook, the stream will end. But if you're logged in here on the event platform, um, you'll get a five minute break while we transition over to the breakout rooms. We have four great topics for you to choose from today. If you can't decide which breakout to attend, don't worry because the replays for all of them are going to be available right here on Rank Central for immediate replay. And we'll post them later as well on the eBay for Business YouTube. So let me talk you through the breakout sessions. Um, and I think then we are up, up and away into our content for the day. Uh, Shelly Ball, who is a senior product manager, Seller Experience is going to discuss um, a new update around product research. And then Kendall Van Gilder, as I said, is going to host that breakout on spring cleaning, getting your profit pile listed. Andrew Alswalt from Tax Act is here to prepare you for tax season. I don't know about you guys. Top of mind for me is tax season, absolutely. And then we'll have Chuck Van Pelt, seller advocacy lead, and Jonathan Chard, lead product manager, will be in a breakout room to dive into some detail around other product updates, including new ways to create sale events. And there's more because after those breakout rooms, you can join one of the networking rooms that's hosted by fellow sellers like you. Some of them are regionally based, others are topical, so you can choose whatever uh, suits you best. So now speaking of networking, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that we call seller meetings. Um, we have more than 50 chapters of these local meetings in all across the US. Um, they are by sellers, for sellers, they are regularly scheduled meetups. They bring new and experienced sellers together in person. We have a lot of hosts of those seller meetings I see here talking in the chat today here in the audience. Thank you guys so much for doing that volunteering. Um, it's a great way to share tips and build really strong relationships because you know community is at the core of what we do here at eBay. So by joining a chapter, you can, again, build and foster those relationships. You can get tips and tricks, stuff you never thought of before that can help accelerate your business. Um, and we also send swag sometimes to some of the chapter events. Um, you have to show up to grab that swag. Um, and we, you know, everybody loves a water bottle. Um, and we love sending stuff out to the leads of those meetings. Now, speaking of leads of those meetings, maybe you're like, hey, that's really cool. And you go and you look on the sign up page and there's nothing in your area. What do you do? You can launch a chapter in your area. It is a great way to share your excitement for selling, um, build that community, build your networks. Um, and here's the thing. You don't have to be a super power expert user. You don't have to sell gabillions of dollars. You just have to love community and be kind of organized. Um, so if you're excited about building community in your local area and you want to get something started, again, even if you're not a super expert seller, what you can be is amazing at building your local community. If you volunteer, we have lots of info and ways for you to connect with other um, meeting leaders um, online. And um, we also will promote your event. Maybe we'll, we will send you some of that swag. Um, and um, with that, I think uh, I think we put the um, link in the chat. If we didn't, maybe we can do that again, um, where you can go and, and browse upcoming events or start a meeting in your local area. So please reach out and you know, signing up to on the link doesn't commit you for a lifetime. It just means that we're gonna send you a little bit of information and see if you're you're more interested. The next thing that I want to highlight today is something that we're incredibly proud of every single year, which is the eBay Up and Running Grants Program. To date, since 2020, we've given away $2 million to eBay sellers just like you. This year, we'll make it $2.5 million. It's a grants program to help accelerate small businesses like yours. And I'm really excited to share that the um, Up and Running Grants Program will be coming back for its fifth year this year, launching in April. So stay tuned to all of our seller channels. We will be talking about it a lot. You won't miss it, but definitely stay tuned. And with that, um, I think that's all the updates. I've done all of the opening and we're ready to talk to Adam. Adam, are you there? I am, Rebecca. Hello. Thank you. Uh, and great to see everyone here today. Uh, I know it's always uh, busy and a ton going on, so really do always appreciate it when you take some time out of the day, busy day, to uh, to join us. As Rebecca mentioned, wanted to touch a little bit on our recent seller update. 
Uh, normally we'd go through this in a little bit more depth, uh, but in reality we've got a ton of great content that we want to make sure we share live today. And all of the uh, important news and announcements from the seller update are all available online. So you can head to the seller center, www.ebay.com forward slash seller center uh, to find out all of the details there. Um, but did want to make sure that we hit on a few of the highlights for you. And fundamentally, you know, the, really the goal with this update was to make sure that we continue to bring out new features for you that are gonna make sure that you'll be able to bring buyers to your listings, uh, making sure that your listings are as visible as possible and also that your businesses continue to be protected and safe when you're transacting on eBay. Um, and so a couple of those specific examples that I did want to call out. Uh, first of all, uh, or if for all of you that have a basic or higher store subscription, it's now possible to create markdown sale events directly from active listing, the active listings tab on your mobile device. Now, I love those sale events. It really is something that can help drive additional visibility, drive additional sales for your items. Uh, and being there now available on mobile, right at your fingertips, uh, just makes that even easier to do. Uh, also in the update, we talk about uh, progress that we've made on unpaid items. So I know we've talked about this a lot over the last 18 months. Uh, you know, we're able to eliminate uh, unpaid items for buyer-initiated offers uh, last year, and now rolling out a solution for seller-initiated offers as well. Uh, so again, just making sure that when you've been to the hard work to getting that sale, guaranteeing that you are gonna get paid. Uh, we continue to do work in this space. We want to make sure um, that you know we also have a solution for auctions. We've also got solutions that work as well, for example, in, in, in situations like combined shipping. Uh, so watch this space. We will continue to communicate through the year uh, as we make progress uh, on continuing to remove the, the risk of an unpaid item on the platform. Now, lastly, and I know this one's always a little bit more difficult, um, but we did make a change in, in our fee structure as well. And so you know, we want to make sure that we're able to continue investing in this business, continuing to bring you the tools and features and the marketing support that is going to allow you to sell your items, grow your businesses. Um, and so we have announced that there is a change as we see costs continue to increase in the market. We've announced a change to our per order fee across all categories. And so starting next Friday, March 15th, the per order fee on our orders over $10 will increase from 30 cents to 40 cents. Now, I realize on the one hand, um, you know, you could sort of say, oh, well, it's 10 cents, okay, fine. Uh, on the other hand, like we do recognize that it does compress margins for sellers. And so it's never a decision that we take easily to increase the fees. Um, we also realize that this is one which is going to have more of an impact if you're selling lower priced items. And so that was why we wanted to make sure that for orders $10 and under, they won't be affected by this change and you will continue to be charged at the current rate of the 30 cents. Uh, now, did want to say as well as we move forward, thank you for all the continuing feedback that you that you provide to us. It really is only through your feedback that the new features and the new tools are able to come out. Uh, I'm really proud of, uh, of of all of the things that Xiaoli Zhang and her team within the product uh, organization continue to roll. Um, but please keep the feedback coming. It's uh, how we make sure that we're meeting your needs uh, as, as well as possible. Uh, I was up in Seattle uh, just a couple of weeks ago at a seller event, and it was great to hear from a seller there that they'd noticed a bunch of changes on the aspects associated with their listings and simplification in those aspects, uh, and that made their selling uh, considerably more efficient. Um, and really, like that's one of those areas where it's feedback from all of you that allows us to, to make those improvements and continue to improve the, the experience that you all uh, face. So thank you. Please keep it coming. I know you're never shy. Uh, but please do uh, continue to share your feedback. Uh, now, Rebecca's hinted at this uh, already, but there's uh, one other change as well that I did want to take a chance to talk to a little bit today, um, which is that I am moving on from my role as the US General Manager. Um, it's been an absolute privilege to be able to represent all of you internally here at eBay over the last 18 months. Uh, I consider myself to be so lucky to get the chance to get out to meet with all of you, build relationships with all of you, and then uh, get the chance to make sure that uh, I'm representing you all back here in, in headquarters. Um, I'm still gonna be around, I'm just moving into a different role at eBay, uh, but I've learned so much from all of you over the last 18 months. Uh, and so you can, you know, please, uh, please trust that I will be taking all of that learning and in everything that I continue to work on, we'll make sure that I 
but I continue to champion uh, all of you and all of your needs. Uh, and I, uh, Rebecca and team, let me. I'll, I'll still be showing up with as as many of the seller events as I as I possibly can. Uh, so with me moving on, what happens next? Well, uh, Rebecca already mentioned this, but uh, uh, we're going to be. I'm going to be replaced by a lady called Dawn Block. Uh, Dawn is a great friend of mine. She's got a ton of experience in the e-commerce space. Uh, she's an incredibly passionate advocate for all of you and the selling community. Um, and uh, I know you're going to be in absolutely in absolute great hands with Dawn. And then, of course, Rebecca, uh, Alice, and Melissa and the team uh, who run all of these events are still here as well. Uh, they're not going anywhere. Um, now, some of you may have gotten the chance to already get to know Dawn a little bit uh, from her presentation at eBay Open 2022. Uh, she was also there at the, uh, at the eBay Open Studio event down in Austin, uh, last, uh, sorry, in Atlanta last year. I say Austin because Austin's where Dawn is actually based, and I know she's built some great relationships with, with sellers already in the Austin community. And uh, I'm really delighted that we've got Dawn here today to be able to introduce herself. Uh, so please give a big eBay community welcome to uh, Dawn Block. Hey, Dawn. Hi. Hi, Adam. Hi, sellers. Uh, thank you so much for that incredibly warm welcome. Um, I am so happy, so thrilled uh, to be here today and to meet uh, virtually with everyone here. Um, Adam, uh, to describe me as your friend, it just means so much. I have enjoyed my time working uh, at eBay and, and particularly with this incredibly uh, talented team here on the call today. Um, I'm so happy to be taking over this new role as Vice President and General Manager of the U.S. Markets. Well, thanks, Dawn. Uh, so it's great to have you here. The team, will, everyone will get to know you, I'm sure, over, over the coming, uh, coming years. But uh, why don't you just tell everyone a little bit about yourself and your background, maybe? Well, yes, of course. Um, as I mentioned, or as, as you mentioned, we I live in Austin um, and here with my family. You know, we love all things that are outdoors hiking and water sports, sort of absorbing all the, the good uh, Texas weather uh, that there is to offer before it gets too hot. Um, and then uh, beyond those uh, sort of outdoor pursuits, if you will, um, we're avid collectors at my house. So uh, we love anything Funko, um, vinyl, comics, of course, trading cards. And I have two teenagers at home, so uh, nothing goes by a day where we're not talking about sneakers or the fashion categories at eBay. So, uh, so that's kind of that's how what we do at my house. That's what we like to collect. Um, and prior to joining eBay in 2021, uh, I worked for Target, and I led the digital team there. So it was just my pleasure to join this organization uh, back in 2021. So I look forward to continuing my journey. And uh, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, what you were actually doing here at eBay uh, over the last few years. Uh, you mentioned the collectible stuff, so I think uh, you know that's a little bit of a hint of, of something that you got sucked into, I suspect, over, over the last few years. Yeah, absolutely. So for the past three years, I've been responsible for driving uh, the shopping experience and the selling experience across fashion, collectibles, home and garden. Uh, U.S., U.K., and Germany. So that's where you see my uh, passion for those categories show up for sure. Um, over the years, I've witnessed the transformation of eBay. Some of the initiatives I've been involved with are Vault. Maybe uh, this team has heard of that. Um, Authenticity Guarantee Program is super uh, close to my heart. I know we have some sellers here that are part of that program. And I also know that many of you sell in other categories, and I'm excited to take my expertise in the focus categories and use it to be part of building and growing eBay for all sellers. Um, so really, no matter the category, uh, we build experiences and trust, trust for the buyers and the sellers, uh, trust for the eBay community entirely. And trust is what I hope to earn from all of the eBay sellers on this call and all around us as we begin this journey together. Well, I know from my personal relationships that uh, I can fully trust you, Dawn. So I'm sure that there are, as you get to know the seller base, that uh, that, that trust will uh, will come through as well. Um, now, look, I mean, personally, like the thing I've loved so much about my role uh, really was being able to get out, meet all of the sellers, be that advocate, be that voice back into for the community, back into into eBay. Um, now, I know you obviously got to to meet with some sellers at eBay Open 2023 in your prior role as category metal category sellers. Um, but any thoughts from you about sort of like how you want to be able to uh, make sure you continue to advocate for for sellers uh, as you as you go forward in the new role? 
Yeah, first and foremost, for me, it begins with listening um, and, and listening on calls like this, uh, listening when I'm out in the community, meeting with sellers. And that's really where the journey starts for me. I feel uh, every time I'm out meeting with our sellers, I have so much to learn and I absorb so much. So I thank our community for what they've already contributed. And I just look forward to continuing that journey. And, and while I'm out and I'm listening and I'm hearing, you know, examples like the UPI experience we talked about, incredibly powerful. Powerful, not only for the trading cards categories, but but collectively uh, around our business, the significantly uh, not a described process that impacts our AG categories. That's been an important change, and all of that feedback comes uh, from listening to the community. I, I constantly learn and I hear, and so that's really where I want it uh, to show up most. And you know, Adam, I also intend to be really transparent with the community, and I look forward to reading all the comments looking at the questions, understanding what's most important, and then helping your businesses be incredibly successful on the platform. Yeah, I mean, it is, uh, it's an incredible learning experience being able to be in this role, get that, uh, get all of that feedback and take it in. And, you know, the, the, the amazing thing, but also the challenge with the eBay platform is always just, you know, all of these interesting edge cases. And so I certainly know I always learn something new every, every single seller interaction that, that I have. Um, I mean, anything else that you want to share? I mean, like, what else are you are you looking forward to with uh, with this new role, Dawn? Well, I am super excited, probably particularly excited to dive into the vibrant seller community. Um, and just in the short amount of time uh, I've had, you know, compared to you, Adam, I know our sellers are entrepreneurial, passionate, and resilient, and just strong advocates for their businesses and the eBay community. So I just see this as an incredible opportunity to learn and uh, to really drive and build uh, for this team of individuals all around. So um, you're incredibly inspiring to me and I can't wait to be your advocate. 100%. Now, I know this is a question that is always gonna be on sellers' minds when they meet with yes. you it's always something I get asked. Um, are you an eBay seller yourself? And if so, you know what are some of the categories that, that you like to sell? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love to sell uh, comic books, apparel, um, shoes, as an example. Uh, and before you ask, I'm also a buyer. Um, I, I have a recent, sh it's a surprise, pair of uh, Nikes on the way. Um, and uh, so I just, I really uh, am just so thrilled with what you can find, the breadth and the excitement from the hard to find to the must haves. It's really incredible. Um, and I have some great outdoor decorative pillows, uh, some refurbished AirPods because those uh, tend to get lost in my house and a Roomba vacuum cleaner. I can't wait to I continue using that because you don't need to hold the vacuum cleaner anymore, Adam. It's right there. Absolutely. Although the mess that my kids make in the back of my car means that I still need one of those little ones for uh, getting <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the cracks in the, in the, in the back of the car. Um, well, uh, Thank you so much today, Dawn. I know you've got a ton more to share with the community. Um, it's a true honor to be able to pass the baton over to you. Uh, and uh, as I say, I promise that all of you, you're in, in great hands uh, with, uh, with Dawn taking over this role. Oh, thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate it so much. And I, I take this opportunity incredibly seriously. So thank you for that. Um, and, uh, and just thank you, as you'll be incredibly uh, missed, Adam. And on behalf of the sellers, and I know it's going to come up in the chat too, um, I'm just uh, so happy to be part of this team. And I know they're going to miss uh, seeing you and working even more with you. So thank you. Thank you. Well, as I jump into the next round of product updates, updates, thank you for that warm welcome. And I'm happy to get the opportunity to join today. I'm just going to step right into a few, I think, things we need to share. At the last seller check-in, Adam shared uh, that we start every single project with a simple question, what problems are we solving for our sellers? And I would like to continue that momentum and share some exciting updates to the products that we have improved and iterated on, small changes uh, for large impact through testing and listening to that critical feedback that you provide. So I'll start with an update about our social sharing. Uh, last year, we launched a tool that seamlessly integrates your social accounts with your selling account. This way, it's much easier for you to share your listings on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and really increase your reach instantly. More than 19,000 sellers have linked at least one social account to the social page. 
We also rolled out a tool that allows you to use generative AI to write uh, your captions for your social posts. And we just launched the ability to auto post on social. So if you've linked your eBay account to your social media channels, you can instantly publish posts to social media once you've created new listings or promotions. And coming soon, sellers will be able to share listings on video-based channels like TikTok and YouTube. I'll also share, not long ago, we expanded ESE or eBay standard envelopes categories to include patches, stickers, decals, greeting cards, and even seeds. The latest news is that is that in late Q4, we released a new trading card envelope, which is designed specifically to meet the eBay standard envelope requirements. This unique design protects cards in three pockets for uniform distribution and a protective cardboard insert. The added protection means that as the shipper, you no longer need to ship with a top loader. The mailer is 100% recyclable where facilities exist, making it a more eco-friendly shipping option. In addition, priority mail cubic and ground advantage cubic options are now available. This makes shipping easier for heavier items. With cubic rates, you'll get even lower shipping prices when your package qualifies for the special rate. How can you access it? Simply enter accurate weight and dimensions for your package when you're printing your eBay shipping label. eBay will automatically offer the best rate and apply the cubic pricing for priority mail and ground advantage if the cubic rate is better than the non-cubic rate. Lastly, I wanna mention that FedEx two-day one rate service is now available via labels. You now have the option to use free FedEx packaging or your own generic supplies and all the zones are priced the same. This is another great option for sellers shipping heavier items. Finally, last but not least, we are very excited about these next product updates that will be coming up in the lightning round. So some of you may have attended the eBay open presentation about Terapeak and heard that it was coming to mobile. Well, I am excited to have Shelly Ball here today to give a look at what product research on mobile will look like when it launches. Then we'll have Morgan Chen from the seller experience team here to talk about the background enhancement tool. Nope, not the background removal. This is a truly exciting way to feature, uh, to enhance your product images and drive more sales. And even more from the seller experience team, Catherine Fisher will be talking about a new seller experience coming to you on the eBay mobile app. This is based on so much feedback and I'm thrilled that you'll be the first sellers to learn about it. And finally, we will conclude our lightning round with an update from the fashion team and a new pilot program launching soon. So you'll be thrilled, you'll wanna absolutely see that one. So now I'm gonna pass it over to Shelly Ball, Senior Product Manager to discuss product research on mobile. Hi, sellers. I am so happy to share that we're very close to having product research available for you on the mobile app. For those of you who use Seller Hub, you may be familiar with Terapeak product research. But when you access from the mobile app, you'll see it simply referred to as product research. And for those who are not familiar with product research, it's a tool that allows you to search millions of items sold on eBay over the last three years. I know that today many of you use sold filter in search, which gives you only up to the last 90 days of items sold on eBay. So once this is available, we would encourage you to start using product research going forward for this type of search. And best of all, eBay sold item data now goes where you go. Product research will be available on both Android and iOS devices. You can search using keywords or other product identifiers like model numbers or UPCs. And we display actual sold prices. If a best offer was accepted, we display the accepted price, not the original price. And this remains free for all sellers. There's no subscription required. And on mobile, you'll be able to enjoy most of the same features that you find on the Seller Hub version of product research. You'll see the average sold price highlighted, the sold price range, shipping cost details, total number of items sold, and total dollar amount sold, as well as the number of sellers who've sold that item, and sold price trend graphs. 
we know that seller, uh, sorry, we know that sell-through rates are a really key factor when you're making your sourcing decisions. And this is going to come in a later release. But we've gotten so much feedback that you wanted product research on mobile that we chose to get it to you sooner rather than waiting for sell-through rate to be available. And then over time, we'll be bringing in more features like additional trend graphs and active listings. And we also support advanced filters. Our default search result will give you the full result set, but then you can use our advanced filters where you select just how far back you want to search up to the last three years. And you can search by category or condition filters and the selling format in which the item was sold. And as a thank you for attending today, we're gonna to make sure that you're in our first group of sellers who have access to product research. So make sure you have the latest version of the eBay app. Please keep a lookout for it in the coming weeks. And I invite you to join us later for our breakout session where we look forward to demonstrating how you can use product research on the go. And now I'll turn it over to Morgan Chen who will talk to you about our background enhancement tool. Thank you, Shelly. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to share with you the project that we're working on today. Um, imagine that you have one of items that you like to sell on eBay. You put your items on a table in your living room or in your garage. You pick up your phone and snap a few photos and upload them into your listings. As of today, on the eBay app, you can remove the background of your photos with just one click, and now your photos are decluttered. Um, this helps you, buyer, to know what you're selling. But can we do more to drive their decisions to buy your item? Uh, powered by Genev AI, you now can add some colored backdrop or put your items on a display. With realistic lightings and shadows, you can easily transform your photos to make them look like they are taken by professional photographers. You can also put your items in a scene, like photos on the right side here. We put that pair of shoes on the road or on a hiking trail to demonstrate how or where your items can be used all with a few clicks in the app, no expensive equipments or setup needed. Let's take a look. Next page, please. On the left-hand side is a real example of a listing photo. After removing the background, now you'll have the choices to choose where you want to put your item. You can, it can be in the studio, on a countertop, or some creative locations. On the next screen, AI gives you a few generated photos to choose from. If you don't find anything that you like, you can continue tweaking the prompt and generate more. On the right-hand side is the one that I picked. See the shoes are placed on a gray background with very natural lighting and shadow as if this, as if this was taken in a studio. And notice how much it made the item itself popped if you compare it to the original images uh, from the left-hand side. Now you ask, search engine used to put photos with pure white background at a higher rank and search results. Um, but that's not the case anymore. So now it is up to you to decide what works the best for your listings. In eBay's seller community, the general consensus is to use simple rather than complex backgrounds. Some find a non-white background provides better contrast to show the true color of an item. Ultimately, the goal is to showcase the item that you're selling. So with this background enhancement tool, you can strategically pick some photos in your listings add a tone, a context with some quality into your photos and to drive the sales at a very low cost. With the upcoming months, we're going to gradually roll out these features and we'd like your feedback. Uh, we'd like to know what works for you, what doesn't work for you and your, for your business. Your insights are definitely valuable to us to make this happen. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to hand it over to Catherine. She's going to share us some of the concept that of the seller mode on the mobile. Thanks, Morgan. Hi, everyone. I'm Catherine Fisher, and I work on the seller experience product here at eBay. Uh, I'm here today to give you an update on an exciting test that we're going to be running soon that is inspired by all of the feedback that we've received from our seller community. So uh, we've consistently heard from all of you uh, how much you rely on your iPhone, your Android apps to run your business. Uh, you guys are a community of entrepreneurs, uh, people who run side hustles, even have larger businesses. So we know you're always squeezing in work whenever you can. And anything we can do to make your life efficient is much appreciated. 
So some of the main feedback we've received is that you want to do more on our apps. You need more robust functionality. So you need that information at your fingertips and you don't want to wait until you can get to your computer. So as we started looking at the current selling experience on our mobile apps, one of the things that stood out was how all of our tools for our sellers are accessed essentially from a single screen, which causes some issues for our sellers. Um, it's difficult to find the information when it's all stacked up on one screen, and it would only get worse as we add more, more features. Also, it can be difficult to multitask. So if you, you need to create a listing, but then go back and reference something else, um, you really have to back up and you can lose your place. So with that, we decided we wanted to experience, uh, experiment excuse me, with more of a dedicated navigation for our sellers and what we're calling sell mode. So essentially, once you tap into sell on our native app, uh, it would expose new navigation uh, to make it easier to access key tools and information. So with this new navigation, uh, we're aiming to create a lot more real estate so that we can incorporate more tools in our app, including product research, uh, which you all just heard about, um, and other tools uh, to help you grow your business. We expect it'll be easier to multitask. You can manage your orders, edit your listings, and monitor performance much more easily. And we want to make it easier for you to access your messages from customers, because as many of you know, the quicker you respond, the higher the chances of making a sale. Uh, we plan to test this on iOS and Android uh, in the next quarter with a small group of sellers uh, to get some feedback. Um, so it will be a small test, but we're really excited to see what our sellers say and ultimately make some uh, bold updates to our mobile experience this year. So thank you. And now over to Rebecca Elliott. Hello from Chicago. I'm Rebecca Elliott, head of US Apparel, and I am so excited to be here with this group today. To kickstart, I'd like to share some updates around what is currently working in fashion to ensure that your marketing and sourcing strategies are as informed as possible. We continue to see consistent year-on-year -year incrementality across the board in fashion, but a few key categories really stand out. Men's suiting, for instance, is posting low double-digit growth with branded search terms like Ralph Lauren posting impressive triple-digit growth. Demand for this category will peak in March and April and then again in October. Luxury apparel from brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Burberry, to name a few, continues to check specifically between a $200 to $500 price point. Coats and jackets is the most significant year-on-year -year growth driver within fashion year-to-date, and Carhartt is the brand to be aware of, representing three of the top 10 search terms within coats and jackets. Athletic wear is also posting low double-digit growth with consistent year-round performance. We are seeing especially high demand for branded hoodies right now. And lastly, jeans, a top 10 incrementality driver within fashion year to date with ongoing strong performance from brands including Levi's, American Eagle, and Wrangler. And note, we're seeing an increase in search for baggy jeans specifically. And now a very exciting update. At the end of this month, we will be launching the pre-loved partner program in the US. Pre-loved fashion growth continues to outpace new, both at eBay and in the broader market. And as this landscape grows, buyers have more options than ever before. Our goal in creating this program is to highlight the best of our pre-loved offering, enabling buyers to shop with trust and ease. All participating sellers must maintain eBay top rated seller status not exceed 1% on item not received feedback, not exceed 5% on item significantly not as described feedback, maintain a minimum of 95% positive feedback, and lastly, offer 30-day return eligibility. So what will this program look like on site and what benefits can you, the seller, expect? All inventory will be badged to denote trust, all inventory will be featured on a dedicated landing page with exclusive marketing assets and events. 
program sellers will receive discounted ads opportunities, and lastly, have access to exclusive community roundtables and forums. The pilot, which is launching at the end of March, is invitation only, but we are looking to scale this program quickly. So if you are interested and believe that your storefront meets the criteria, please complete the form linked in the chat. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you. And with that, I'll pass it back to Rebecca Michaels. Thanks, Rebecca, from one Rebecca to another. Super appreciate it. Oh my gosh. I have been watching the chat through this whole entire um, presentation. What amazing updates. Uh, uh, it, during this last one, I saw lots of jokes about Jinkos. I harassed my little sister endlessly about wearing Jinkos back in the 90s. So that was a blast from the past. Um, the other thing that I noticed all over the chat was questions about white backgrounds. Um, and yeah, I wanna confirm that that guidance from Google actually has changed. So, you know, you may still wanna go simple in the background um, and, um, you know, test out that background enhancement tool, but you don't have to just be plain white anymore. And we think that's really exciting. And that's why we brought this new tool to all of you. And then finally, I want to thank Don. What a great job. We threw you in at the deep end, and that was so amazing. We really appreciate having you here. I'm so excited to work together more. And I know the sellers are too. Again, in the chat, everybody was so enthusiastic and warm and welcoming, and then said lots of lovely goodbyes to Adam as well. Anyway, sellers, all of these announcements, you have heard it here first. And we will keep updating you right here at each seller check-in throughout the year as these and other things come to life. Now, I know that a lot of great info was just shared and it was a lot. So in case anybody wants to go back to it, I want to remind you that our event today is being recorded and a replay will be available here on Ring Central immediately and then on our eBay for Business YouTube channel within the next few days. Now, what kind of seller check-in would this be if we didn't hear from sellers like yourselves? I'm now going to bring Dawn back for an interview with a fashion reseller. And now, over to Dawn. Thanks, Rebecca. Buddy, for that information in the lightning rounds. Uh, super informative. And I'm uh, back. So very excited to hear the trends and uh, see what's next. And I'm even more excited to focus on our sellers and the success of the businesses that they're building. So today, I'm particularly excited to share and to chat with an eBay seller, Kendall Van uh, Gilder. And Kendall sells on eBay under the store name Style Secondhand. Kendall is also very active on social media, specifically TikTok, under the name at the Style Secondhand, where she sh shares her tips and tricks for reselling as well as some of the great hauls. And I had a chance to spend a little time with Kendall before, and those do sound like some great hauls. So uh, I know I'm gonna be watching. So let's welcome Kendall. And I would love it if you could start maybe by telling your fellow sellers a little bit about yourself and how you started selling on eBay. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hi sellers. I, before I started reselling and before I got on eBay, I was an assistant manager of operations at Lululemon for just under five years. And I started my reselling journey kind of part-time in December and then went full-time in May of 2023. And I quit my job and I've been doing it full-time ever since. And I am just really passionate about reselling and thrifting and finding those hidden gems at Goodwill. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, well, I know we're all so excited to get started and hear even more. You know, I appreciate uh, great retail and and seeing what's on the store shelves and seeing what you find in the hall. So there's just uh, so much to learn and and to find in those experiences. So I know we're excited to hear more about it. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, spring is around the corner and we know more and more sellers will be looking to take some time off. Whether sellers have kids and want to spend more time on spring breaks or just, you know, frankly, step away and take a little bit of time to themselves. Do you have some tips uh, for taking time off, but still ensuring that the business runs smoothly? Yes, I love scheduling my listings. So this is something that I use just as a day to day so I can kind of stay on track for the week. But definitely when I am 
gone for a long weekend or I decide to go home, um, I like to schedule my listings, have them go live the same time each day so I can be as consistent as possible for anyone that follows my store. And I also do love to try and find a thrift store or two while I am on vacation because I just can't stay away for too long. So I do try and search for things that I can maybe bring home and list when I get home. Well, um, I know scheduling listings is effective for sellers. So love uh, that that's one of your pro tips too. I also think it's amazing that you source while on vacation and you must find some very unique pieces that stand out uh, as you're traveling. Um, well, so you spent a minute uh, and, and we touched on your social media presence. So I'd love to just go back there for a second. With the launch of eBay for sellers Instagram, a question we get is how do you make the reels and connect it back to selling? Do you have any tips you'd like to share for creating those reels? Yeah, I love sharing my hauls. That is actually the whole reason I started on social media because I just wanted to share what I was finding with other people that were also excited about it. So I love sharing my hauls, everything that I find, and then also making sure to circle it back to my store and share with whoever's watching that if you see something you like, then you can follow my store and shop it if if you find anything. Well, perfect. Um, just before we wrap, I wanted to talk about customer service. You know, when it comes to traveling and running a business, um, how do you approach it? And, and any best practices that have helped you? And I know this must have been a hallmark of, of the way you've gone to market your entire career, this, this importance of uh, customer service. So what best practices would you share? I think communication is key, as well as honesty. Those are two things that I focus a lot on. So I love to be as honest and transparent about my listings and where I'm at if I get a message from a buyer that is interested in something I will share. If I'm unavailable to actually see the item in my inventory, I'll let them know. I'll let them know when I'll be back, when I can answer their question, as well as when I am gone. I do sometimes like to build in a day while I'm gone, whenever I come back, so I can answer all those questions, check on anything that anyone had, and then also get all my orders together. So I'm not overwhelmed coming back from a holiday. <laughs> Perfect. And I know uh, I know we've all felt overwhelmed uh, getting back into the swing of things after taking a little bit of time off. Uh, those are excellent suggestions and just really signifying the importance of getting those questions answered and allowing time to get caught back up. Um, it was such a pleasure speaking with you today, Kendall. Thank you for sharing those tips and insights. Now, if you'd like to hear more from Kendall, she's going to be hosting a breakout session on spring cleaning and how to get that profit pile listed. Um, so you can catch her breakout session right after the main presentation. So uh, be sure to check it out. Thank you again, Kendall. And now, Rebecca, I'm going to hand it back to you. Thank you. So much. Great. Thanks. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hey Dawn, thank you again. In the chat, I saw a lot of people asking, what is the name of Kendall's TikTok? It's the style secondhand, all one word, search it up and you will find it. Um, I would imagine as good as she is at social media branding, she's probably the style secondhand on all the things. So I would say search for that. We also dropped that link in the chat. Um, so I wanna go take some time. No, I'm kidding. I'm not taking time off, but Kendall, you had great suggestions. So thank you for that. And I wanna thank all of our presenters today and everybody for their time. Um, if you want to know about future events, yep, got to remind you, if you want to know about future events, please go to seller events at ebay.com and you can see a list of all upcoming events local in your area run by sellers, larger what virtual ones like this. Um, go ahead and check it out and sign up if you want. Um, and then one last thing I want to tell you about today, and I know we're at time, so bear with me, is the Small Business Ambassador Network. It's a program here at eBay where sellers work with staff to positively influence e-commerce public policy. For example, you've heard about the 1099K. We did a lot of advocacy to reduce the impact of that 1099K legislation. And so much of it was thanks to sellers like you who go and talk to um, Congress, uh, Congress people um, and other folks, representatives in, in our government and talk about what it's like having a small business and the help that you need from the government to succeed. 
It's an opportunity for your voice to be heard. You can meet with eBay executives and legislators in your area, and you can also connect with other members here in the U.S. and around the world. It's a great chance to give back to your community, um, and you get to hear some um, information about eBay and e-commerce industry information first. So go to eBay Main Street slash S-B-A-N. Um, check out their Instagram or um, use the, uh, the QR code that should be on your screen right now. Finally, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you so much for being here today. I say this every time, but it's because it's so true. You're giving us your time. You're giving us your attention. You're allowing us to tell about changes and updates we've made, as Dawn said, on your behalf because of your feedback. And I know your time is valuable. And I know that your thoughts are important. And we love reading every single one of the chat messages. We go back and read every one of the chat messages afterwards to understand what's top of mind for you. And I just want to thank you again so much for taking the time to be here with us today. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you had some fun. And with that, in about five minutes, maybe now more about three, given the time, we're going to move over to the breakout rooms. After the breakout rooms, there's networking where you can just hang out and talk on certain topics with um, other sellers. And that will conclude our all of our programming at the end of the networking rooms. To navigate to the breakout rooms, you click on the on the tab on the left hand side of your screen, probably to the uh, left of me. Um, and with that, I'm going to just say thank you. Thank you again so much for being here. It's so great seeing so many familiar faces and meeting new folks too. really appreciate your time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.